Hey guys, it's Sam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these skinny diagonal stickers, which you can put any type of text you want in them. Um, I already went ahead and created a few, of course, these full box ones and then half box stickers. So let's create a new document and get started. So to start, just create a, uh, a box the size of the Erin Condren uh, morning, day, and night boxes. And for those of you who don't know, the dimensions of it are 1.9 inches by 1.5 inches. So just make any size box, and we're going to rescale it. You're going to come up here to the scale window, and you're going to hit unlock aspect, and you're just going to change it to 1.5 by 1.9. And that will change it to the size of the morning, day, and night boxes in your planner. And I'm just going to make this a checked line and a red one just so it's a little bit easier to see. I'm also going to zoom in just a little bit. So to make the full length boxes, what I do that makes it easiest is I just line it up to the grid. And each one of these uh, 4 by 4 boxes right here is half an inch by half an inch. So as you can see, it's not quite two inches long. So I'm going to just take my line tool. Oops, I lined that up just a little too well on this side and I can't see it now. There we go. So you're gonna take your line tool and because this isn't a full uh, half an inch here, I'm just going to make one that's half an inch. And just to be sure, that it is the right length, I'm going to come up here and make sure it is exactly half an inch long. And you're just going to line that up with the bottom. And you don't have to do it perfectly. You can highlight both of them and come up here to your align tool and align bottom and it'll move that down. And now you're perfectly aligned and you don't have to worry about it. So to make the actual diagonal boxes, you're going to click on draw a polygon. And you're going to start down here in the bottom corner. And I want you to click on the corner. And then you're going to come up to this half inch line. And this is exactly half an inch from the top of your box. And then you're going to come back up to the corner. And don't worry, if these lines aren't perfect, you can go to the Edit Points tool and move them to where you want. And then you're going to come down here to the top of this half inch line that we put out to the side as a guide. And then connect it. And so. If they're not perfect, you can come up here to edit points and say this was not lined up and it was over there. You can actually just click the point and move it in line. So this makes it really easy that if you mess up, you don't have to start over completely. So there you have your diagonal box. And a lot of people don't know how to get the fonts tilted, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just fill it in. Let's make it a gradient just so it's a little prettier. All right, and you're going to come over and you're going to hit your text button and pick whichever text you want. Oops. Let's just write canceled. Oops. You can't really see it. It's a little big. We're going to shrink that down. So I'm just going to shrink it down to 25 to start with. We'll see how that goes. And I'm going to fill it in so it makes it a little bit easier to click on. Because I have trouble with those, those lines when I click on them. So in order to get this angled, you're going to click on this green dot here. And I've said this in other videos, the easiest way to make sure you have this completely parallel with the lines uh, of your box is to just drag it so that top box in the middle here is is resting on top of the diagonal line. And as you can see, this is not completely parallel. You just need to eyeball it. Just tilt it just a little until it's perfect. And now it is perfect. And we could actually make that a little bit bigger. And there you go. And I'm just gonna group this together so I can move it out of the way. And there you have the full page diagonal boxes. In order to do the half ones, you're going to do the same exact thing as you did with this. But to make it easier, I'll just show you how I do it on top of this one. You'll have it lined up. To make it easier, I draw a line through the middle of it. Oops, that is not straight. 
just a line right through the middle. Close enough. And then I make sure that my point goes from right here up to this corner, down, and then ends here. So you're essentially just doing the same thing, but you're cutting your box in half and using this bottom as if it's this bottom. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. And if you have any questions about this or suggestions, I know I went through this a little bit quickly. Um, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. And as always, please subscribe and you'll be able to see even more tutorial videos in the future. Thanks, guys.